In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a simple box layout like this using the Confluence Macro Browser. First, we'll create some content for a box. So click the Macro Browser button. We'll create an RSS feed. I'm going to cut and paste a feed URL from Feedzilla. Click refresh to see a preview of the feed. You can now customise your macro until you're happy. And then click insert. We can see the inserted macro is highlighted. This will become the body of the box definition and we'll be using the macro browser again to create that. So open the macro browser and select the formatting category. Select the box definition macro and you will see that the box is already populated with the RSS macro we just inserted. We need to give the box an ID and a title. We can now click refresh to preview the box and insert when we're finished. And there we have it, our first box definition. Now we have some box definitions on a page. We'll be using the macro browser again to add the box list and layout macros. So open the macro browser and select box list. Now we'll add the box layout macro. At this stage, we just need to state the number of columns we'd like. We'll also add a reset button. Now we've got the essential macros on the page, we'll go into the preview tab to set up the default layout. You can use the list to open the boxes in the layout. And then drag and drop to rearrange them. When you are happy with this arrangement, click on the generate link. Copy the highlighted markup. Back to the wiki markup tab. We can then paste this into the body of the box layout macro. This will then become the default layout that the user sees when they first visit the page or if they click the reset button. We can now save the page. And there we have our layout. 